Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWhite. So in this video, I will show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10 with the help of Windows 10 ISO image. Okay. If you are facing any kind of error while running media creation tool to upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10, then in that case, you can use Windows 10 ISO image to upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10. And if you don't have Windows 10 ISO image, so I will put a video link in description box. So in the last step of that video, I shown how to download Windows 10 ISO image from Microsoft website. So that video will help you to download Windows 10 ISO image. So let's start the upgrading process. So this is my Windows 10 ISO image, 64 bit. And this is the zip software. Okay. If you are already using any zip software, in that case, you don't need this software. But if you don't have any zip or RAR software, in that case, you can use this software 7-zip. It is very easy to download this software. It's a free software. Just open your browser and type 7-zip. Okay. Now, open the first URL. And this software is available for 64-bit and 32-bit both. So you can download as per your system bit. Okay. And it is very easy to install the software. So this is how you can download a 7 zip software. Okay. So before start, I will show you some details that in this process, there will be no data loss and there will be no software loss. Okay. As you can see, I have some files and folders on my desktop. And I also have three partitions you can see and the, all the partition have some data and files so there will be no data loss in this process and I will also show you the softwares which I have so these are the few softwares which I have on my Windows 7 you can see and I will also show you the system properties. So as you can see, I am using Windows 7 Professional and the system type is 64 bit. And you can see window is activated. Okay. So let's start the process. First, you need to extract this Windows 10 ISO image. So right click on it. I am using 7-zip software, then go to extract, and you can see the process has been started. So my Windows 10 ISO image will be extract to this folder. So it will take some time, so I will fast forward this video. So the process has been done. So this is my Windows 10 folder. Okay. Now open this folder. Now right click on this setup. Then click on run as administrator. Now wait for few seconds. So the processing has been started. Now you will get this window, install Windows 10. And there is another option, change how Windows setup download updates. Click on it. So there are two options, download updates, drivers and optional features. Okay. So if you have the internet connection, in that case, you can choose the first option. So it will download all the updates and drivers and some other features. Okay. But it will take some more time. Okay. But if you don't have any internet connection right now, so in that case, you can choose the second option, not right now. And you can also download the updates after the upgradation is done. Okay. So it is all up to you. You can choose the first option or either you can choose the second option. In my case, I am choosing the second option not right now then click on next now click on accept
so now you will get this option ready to install install windows 10 pro keep personal files and app so make sure this option is selected keep personal files and app okay if there is some other option in that case click on this option change what to keep and here you can see the three options keep personal files and app keep personal files only and nothing so select the first option keep personal files and app then click on next now recheck then click on install and the process has been started and it will take around maximum 30 minutes to complete okay so i will fast forward this video Now it's almost done. Click on accept. And you can see the process has been completed. My Windows 7 is now upgraded to Windows 10. First I will show you the system properties. And you can see Windows 10 Pro Edition. System type is 64 bit. And the important thing is that window is still activated you can see window is activated okay now i will show you the data all the data is present so data is present in my both the drives okay and you can see the desktop data is also present there is no data loss now I will check the softwares. And you can see all the software are present. Okay, so there will be no data loss, no software loss in this process. So this is how you can upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10 without losing anything. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWide. Have a nice day.